welcome to Rova YouTube channel. Today I am going to present you how to add search as you type text box to your MS Access continuous form. Okay, before going to the video, please subscribe Rova YouTube channel for more videos like this. Yes, this is my sample database. It contains two objects table and a form. The name of the table is test. It contains all the sample data and I have another object form. I have named it as FRM sub. So it is my continuous form. So today I am going to add a search as you type text box to my continuous form. So my test table contains the sample data for the explanation purpose and uh, my continuous form is based on the table data so it is like this now this is how I'm going to do this now I am going to right click on my continuous form like this then I select design view from this menu then I want to add a text box to the form heading here so go to the form design tab and select text box and place it on the table on the form heading like this it is unbound text box so I want to resize this text box like this Then I want to change the label as search name. So in this method, I have first name and last name in my database. So here, according to this method, you can search text based on the last name or first name. Yes, I place my text box like this and I renamed the label of the text box as search name. Yeah, then I want to increase the font size and I want to change the font color of the text box label and I want to increase the text size, text size of my text box also. Yes, now I placed text box inside the form heading I right click on the newly added text box like this then go to properties here I want to change the name of my text box so I named my text box as txt search yes I renamed my text box as txt search Now it is looked like this and I want to increase the text box size, search text box size like this. Yeah, now save the form, now save the changes like this. After that search the continuous form data using this text box. I have to add a small VBA coding. Part. therefore I am going to design you again then I select my text box and right click and I select build event after that I select code builder here I am going to place my VB, VBA code under the search text box key up event I'm going to place my VBA code under the txt search text box key up event. To save your time, I have typed the code in a notepad. So now I am going to copy and paste this code like this.
Yes, this is the VBA code coding part. So this is my text box name txt search and this is the key up event. This is my table name. So this table is based on the continuous form. Continuous form is based on this table data. So this is my test is my table name. You see this is my table name and me.form.filter equals test and here this is the first name it means this is the or this text box represent the table first name column if I go to uh, the table data table this is the first name column in continuous form you can see like this so I refer the first name column they are in VBA code like this then again here the table name and I have included the la last name also so last name also table column and sub uh, and it is included in the continuous form right then uh, this is the text box name text box name method you have to uh, this is the code you have to use to add a search as to type text box to a continuous form now the word coding part is okay let's save your VBA code and again go to the access form now go to the form view now we can check whether the our method works now I am going to type a name here so uh, so I am going to add a first name customers first name uh, as D E L M Y yes once I type uh, customers name customer name inside the txt search text box my continuous form sort like this so this is the name I typed inside my search text box so this is this is the customers first name now when I delete what happens continuous form data reset so if I type uh, last name inside this text box what happened so this is the uh, this is customers last name a h l e yeah even though i type last name it will it us like this so you can search customers details record uh, using first name or last name once i delete the search criteria or the but I type inside the search box my continuous form data reset and reset like this. So this is how you can add search text box to a continuous form. Actually this form is not based on query. This form is based on a table. So by this method I filter records using table uh, using first name and last name and the continuous form is based on a data table so i think you understand what i did so if you need any clarification please put a comment under the comment section okay this is i want to explain you today if you need this sample database please send me a request to my email address so i i'll include my email address inside the video description okay don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for more videos like let's meet with another video like this thank you very much